Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So for this video, we have a diamond painting accessory haul from Amazon. Yes, so I went on Amazon and I got a few diamond painting accessories. So I'm going to show you guys what I purchased. Um, Prime day for Amazon is July 11th and 12th. And this video will come out on the 12th, just in time for those Prime day deals, right? So without further ado, let me get this package open and show you guys what I scored off Amazon. All right, so the first thing I got off of Amazon are decorative release papers. So you guys know that the diamond paintings, they come with that clear film over them, over it. Sometimes it has like the white papers. But these are decorative release papers where you can peel that clear film or that white um, film off of the diamond painting and section these off. They are reusable. So I did get these in a pack of 60 um, decorative release papers, 60 count. Um, you had two options for the size here. I got the smallest size because I like to do small sections. So this one is like a three by four or 105 by 74 millimeters. And it was $11.99 for 60 count. And then the larger side is like a six by four inch, which is 105 by 148 millimeters. And it was $14.99 for the 60 count. So when I went on here, I did not know that there was decorative release papers on Amazon. I was just so happy to be searching for diamond painting accessories. We all know that you can get decorative release papers from other places, but these are on Amazon. It They do feel, it, they're one-sided, but the side with the design is a little bit rougher than this side so they are reusable you can put them on your painting to section them off i love release papers that's how i diamond paint but there is a decorative option on amazon so i normally buy the clear release papers off of amazon and i did not know that they had decorative ones on there so that's what i got so i'm gonna take a moment and i'm gonna go get a diamond painting to see how these work because i am curious because one side is a little bit rougher than the stick side. It does feel like we won't have a problem with it, but I am gonna try it out in this video. I did wanna tell you guys that there were several different prints. This was the print that I like the most. They had one with donuts. Um, I think there was like some animals on there. So it was like five or six different prints and you can have the option of both sizes on the prints there. But yeah, I think um, 60 for $11.99 with this small little size i think that's a good deal and you get your two-day shipping with amazon so let me go get that diamond painting and see how they work all right so i had this little diamond painting on my desk over there it's one of the budget friendly diamond paintings that was like a. it's not like a legally licensed or anything but the image didn't come up as anyone's artwork but anyway, so here are your release papers, how you replace that plastic. You put it on there and all right. Oh, peels up pretty easily, sticks good, peels up pretty easily. And yeah, so this side was, so yeah. Okay, so that side still comes up, but it is harder. So I do not recommend putting this side on there. I just wanted to try it out because you know mistakes happen and this side seems to be a little bit rougher, but this side seems to stick no problem. So yeah, I think those will work great as long as you use the correct side. So I just wanted to try that out and see how they would work. So I'll have to work with them to let you guys know the full quality of them. But so far they do seem to stick without a problem on my diamond painting. This paper is thin, thinner than the release papers I'm used to. So I'm curious to see how the quality is over time. But I will work with them and let you guys know how they work out. But yeah, you have some printed diamond painting release papers. Alrighty, so we all know that you can get washi tape off of Amazon, right? And we also know that all washi tape is not created equal. So first, I'm going to show you guys this Scotch um, washi tape that I got. We know that's great quality and a good company to get washi tape from. 
their washi tape can be a bit more expensive but i think this was a good deal this is three jungle theme washi tapes i thought they were really cute and it was $5.29 for the three. So I think that's a good deal for that three pack of washi tape. And in my experience, Scotch is a good brand of washi tape. Never had a problem with that brand. So I want to show you guys that I got that. The cute jungle theme. Love that. They had um, several different like theme packs on there. I will link this down below. And then you can go through and see the different themes that they had. But I picked this one and I think it's cute. And of course, it had good reviews as far as washi tape goes. So that's my first pack of washi tape. Look how cute the little jungle theme is. And then I had to get the Starry Universe washi tape. So this washi tape, it has 24 rows. They have gold foil on the rows, which I love gold foil. I think it's super cute. It was $9.80 for the 24 rows. Um, and there were 748 reviews. And out of the 748 reviews, the overall star rating was 4.7. Now, I say that because I have experience like different kinds of washi tape that I was not satisfied with on Amazon. So I went through and I looked at the reviews and a lot of people said good things about this washi tape. That's why I chose this one. And of course, I love the starry print. So that's why I chose this one. So you don't get as much washi tape on these rolls as the other ones, but it is a 24 pack. So I think it's enough on there to at least do one large diamond painting, right? So yeah, and I think the prints are so cute. They have the gold foil. Let me stop making noise while I'm talking, right? It's the gold foil. So look at all of that beautifulness. Look, this one with the planet, love it. The stars and moons. Oh, I love this like pinkish one. All the planets like celestial stuff. So that's why I chose this washi tape. And I think $9.80 for 24 pack is a good deal. So there is that. How do you guys store your washi tape? I have a washi tape holder that I got from Michaels. Um, that I store my washi tape in. Do you guys have a holder or do you just have your washi tape in a drawer? Let me know. How do you store your washi tape? There we go. Look at all that. Oh, I love this one with the stars. Hopefully you can see all of that washi tape because I kept it in the plastic. So yeah, it had good reviews. So people were saying that it sticks good and everyone, of course, loved the design of the washi. So yeah, that's my second pack of washi tape. 24 rows for your convenience and this cute little celestial pack here. So that's my second score for the washi tape. Cute little box. So this I'll probably keep in the box because my washi tape holders are getting pretty full. So yeah. That's my third item, I believe, for my Amazon score. <laughs> this right here, it's a four pack scented diamond painting putty. Now I had no idea that there was diamond painting putty on Amazon. So I found this four pack, it's scented, and it had like, there were some mixed reviews. So I decided to get it anyway and try it out. So you have, it says it's handmade, scented diamond painting putty, WJCWTJL is the company and it's a four pack. So there we go. You have some putty instructions here. So the diamond painting putty will take the place of that pink wax that comes in the kits, pink, blue, purple wax that comes in all of the kits. So we have four different waxes here. I looked at the ingredients when I was on there and it said that this is actually clay. So it said it was clay. So it comes in this little storage container. Mine is a little cracked, probably happened during shipping, but it comes in this little container. And then they do have one that doesn't have a scent. And I was happy for that because I will probably try the one without a scent because some scents do bother me. So this one is probably, it's odorless. So that's the odorless one. Let's see what the other scents were. So some of the reviews was, people were saying that they really liked it. Um, 
one review said that it was really sticky and it left a film on the drills and things like that. Um, if you've worked with putty, you know what some of the hangups can be with putty. Um, but overall, people were saying that they liked it and that the scents were good. So this is banana, lavender, eucalyptus, and then odorless. So let's give them a smell. So that's the banana one. Should have made that one yellow, right? Banana. So let's see. Yep, it smells exactly like a banana. I'll be interested to know how long the scents last. So yeah, that smells like a banana. This one's lavender. That banana one smells really good. Yep, just like lavender. So let me take this out. Oh, so it comes on like clear film. And there you have it. Okay, and then it's your putty. Alrighty, so that's the lavender. These smells are really good. Eucalyptus, let's see here. Ooh, can you guys smell the eucalyptus? So yeah, four pack scented putty. This four pack was $12.99. So that's $3.25 per pack of putty. So I think that's a good deal. So I will work with the scent free one and shh, you know, let you guys know how it works up. But when I saw putty on Amazon, I'm like, what is this all about? So yeah, your little four pack for $12.99, you get all those scents. And yeah, we'll have to see how it works. Let's move on to the next thing in our haul. So next we have our diamond painting tray organizer. So this is the tray organizer with the four, I think it's four smaller trays and then the larger tray let me see here get this open so this little pack was $8.99 you know we've seen this this little pack of stuff all over the place right but I found it on Amazon if I can get it open All right, so this pack comes with four pins. You have a straightener, multi-placers, and things like that. Four of the pink pins. You have four of the little squishies there for your pins. The comfort, comfort grips. You have a diamond painting straightener to straighten out your drills. Love these. You have Oh, you have a little spoon here. Diamond painting spoon. It's collapsible little spoon to scoop up your drills you have some diamond painting wax looks like pink wax in there all right and then you have the little brush to scrape to brush your drills out and then you have your little smaller trays here so you get six smaller trays and then that larger tray so haven't we seen this all over the place but I found it on Amazon and I did not know that you can get solid colors so I saw solid purple green and then I saw the one where all the trays are a different color so you can get the same color or you can get assortment of colors I thought it was really cute and I've been seeing these trays everywhere and wanted to try them out so when I saw them on Amazon I said let me make them a part of my haul so yeah I'll be interested to see how I like them and how they work up you can work on six colors at a time technically seven if you take all the trays out you can put your trays in there and then they have the little spout here where you can pour your trays out there we go so there's that the little diamond painting tray organizer what's that in there yeah and I got it in pink because pink is my favorite color so I do want to see how let me get a bag of drills so this little tray organizer it had good reviews so I'm like okay people seem to like it I'm just gonna pour some drills in there and see how they line up 
and the drills line up just fine. I'm always looking for how the drills line up in the tray. So the drills seem to line up just fine and we'll open it up and see how that spout works. Probably the brush will come in handy here. All right, so the drills seem to line up just fine in those trays. So I don't think I'll have a problem there. So yeah, here is your diamond painting tray organizer and it comes with some other fun goodies there again like i said this was $8.99 i have seen it cheaper but you do not get it in two days <laughs> so that is that we are going to move on to the next item this is going by so fast i'm almost done with my little quick little Amazon haul here. So many fun diamond painting things on Amazon. There are so many other things that I wanted to get and I'm like, let me reel it in a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next item. Alrighty, so next we have our 32 grid drill storage box. I'm gonna open it. Now, I really like this box because it's not like the regular Tic Tac containers, they are larger. So I like the larger style here. I like these containers. This is a 32. This container was $12.99. They did have the 60 count container and that one was $19.99, but I got the 32 count. I probably will go back and get the 60 count. How much drill storage is too much? I have so much drill storage, it's crazy. I have. But I just, I love the drill storage. So I don't have to like kit down. I could just kit up my next kit, right? So yeah, I like these size containers. They're square instead of like the thin Tic Tac containers. This holds a little bit more drills and it comes with some labels here. So yeah, I thought this was a neat thing to show you guys. You've probably seen it before, but this is one of the things I got in my haul. As I speak, I'm getting... um alerts from DAC. <laughs> so yeah, that is another one of the things that I got in my diamond painting accessories haul. So I also got a four pack of pins. Now, for some reason, I did not write down the price of these pins. I will put it on the screen here. So this is a four pack of glow in the dark diamond painting pins. So um, no, we don't diamond paint in the, in the dark, but Glow in the dark pins are still fun. I thought this was a neat idea. Pretty cheap for the four pack, if I remember correctly. Was this like $12.99 or something like that? $12.99, $16.99. I'll put it on the screen, like I said, but it was relatively inexpensive for the four pins. And I had to get it to add it to my haul for today. You can get all the little accessories you need. off of Amazon. Alrighty, let's get this open. Some instructions on the back there. And I thought these pins were a good size. So you get some, a little bit of blue wax. They give you several multi-placers here. Take this off. And then here are your pins. You also get like a little thank you. It's like welcome to the shop, a little customer service note. That's a nice touch there. Let's put some ends on these pins. So these are like resin pins with like the little confetti glitter on the inside of them. 
there was two different color packs um because i remember one of the color packs had orange in it i don't remember the other colors but it had like orange and some other colors in it but i decided on this color pack we have the green with that confetti glitter in there i thought it was so cute and purple and yellow the color of sunshine and then blue so i thought these were really nice i like the size of these pins and i like the weight too so yeah i'll insert a picture of the pins glowing in the dark so these are relatively inexpensive and they're fun with the confetti glitter and they're resin and they're cute so that's four different um diamond paintings that you can match with your pins I love to match my pins and my accessories to my diamond paintings. I'm sure we all love to do that. But I thought the four pack for that price point was a good deal. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. And you can change these out and everything. So yeah, here are the four glow in the dark pins. All right, so here is my last item for this haul. So this is one of those 24 grid tray organizers. I have been wanting to get one of these for a while now. And I, now I'm working on a diamond painting with lots of confetti. So I'm like, perfect. So this one is the 24 grid. The 24 grid, I paid $16.99 for this one. Um, it's a wooden tray organizer. I will sh open it in, the, in a moment. There is also a 42 grid and it's $29.99. But this one is a 24. It was $16.99 and it can hold, it says 21 diamond painting trays. And the little trays are supposed to come with this. So I'll put a picture of it on the screen because it's going to come in pieces and I have to assemble it. So here's a picture of it on the screen. So yes, guys, I thought that this would be a fun way to tackle some confetti. I've seen other like little things out in the community too. So I wanted to try to get a wooden one to see how it would work and how I would like it. I don't typically kit up with a lot of colors at one time because I tend to mix colors up when I'm working with one color at a time. So I'm going to work with this and see how I like it when I tackle this confetti on my next kit. So let's get it open here. Probably need the scissors. And I'm also going to put it together. Oh, so here are our little trays here. So here are the trays. It comes with the white trays you need. It said 12 white trays, but this is more than 12. These trays are pretty dirty, so you'll have to wipe them down with a cloth. So you get... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it comes with twenty-one trays. I think I did see twelve, and I'm like, it says it fits twenty-one trays, but why would it come with twelve? But I think it was probably a typo. I have twenty-one white trays here. They probably got the numbers backwards. And it, then it comes in this little faux wood board here. And then you have some bands. Let me make sure I get everything out. And this must be, oh, installation steps. So that must be our installation steps there. And that's everything looks like that we need to put together our tray holder. So this comes in pieces. So let's see if I can quickly put this together. So this must be the back. Are you guys good at putting things together? Typically I can pretty good at putting things together. So, oh, on the back here. So put together four and five. So, This is number four. This is number five. I'm not going to make you guys suffer through this. So I'm going to put this together and then come back when I have it all put together and show you guys 
how it looks. And then it says, secure the joint of each board with a rubber. <laughs> together one and three so we're gonna go like this I'm gonna do that and those two there and those two here the bottom to the top See, guys, this is pretty easy to put together. The pin holder can be placed to the on the left or the right. Oh, I can put this on the this side, or I can flip it over and put it on that side because both sides are um, has the um, finish on there. So, um, because I already put it in this orientation, that's how I'm going to keep it. Make sure all of these are pushed in here and we'll have to rubber band those in. I probably will cut out most of that because you guys probably don't need to see but it took me like five minutes to put this together. So not much time. It's quick and easy and then after I work with it I'll have to tell you guys how I like it so this is fun all the things I got off Amazon I'm going to oops lost a rubber band I hope they gave me extras it went behind my table here and I don't really want to crawl back there um, so yeah like I was saying um, fun things I got off Amazon I'm excited to See how I like everything. I keep losing the rubber bands. Alrighty. Good thing they do give you extras of the rubber bands, right? <laughs> so that side's put together. So let me slide this side back in all right so it's all put together i had two extra rubber bands come in handy if you're like flinging them all over the place oh i found another rubber band if you're flinging them all over the place the extra sure do come in handy the instructions were quick you do put the rubber bands here but it doesn't say that on the instructions but put two and two together this is it's okay but it is connected by rubber band, so you might want to be careful. I've always been afraid to use one of these because what if I bump my table and all of my drills come tumbling down? That is what I'm afraid of. So you have your pin holders over here, and then you can insert your diamond painting trays. And good thing that it comes with the diamond painting trays. It says it um, can fit 21. But even though pins go here, if you're not going to use that section for pins, the diamond painting trays fit in there as well. So, so yeah, I'll have to see how this works for the confetti and how I like the trays. I wonder if some of my other trays can fit in here as well. So, yeah. So, these fit in here because I didn't use the tops here because I have it tilted on this side. But, yeah. So then I can put like the symbol or the DMC on a sticker, stick it right here and you can use it over and over. So yes, I like, I like this and I'm excited to work on it because boy, is there lots of confetti on the kit that I'm working on now. Um, I'm just getting back to that kit because of the confetti, but yeah. So this was my last item from Amazon. Like I said, I believe this one was $16.99 for the 24 grids. And it comes with 21 trays and everything you need to assemble your diamond painting tray organizer. So I like the wood. It's, it's 
not the sturdiest, but it is connected with rubber bands, but it's uh, sturdy enough for what you're, you need to work with. I'm just afraid that if I bump it and my trays come tumbling out, but as long as you're diamond painting in the area that doesn't have pets or kids, then you should be okay. So yes, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Everything I unbox will be linked in the description box down below if you want to check it out. Get your orders in in time for Prime Day if you so choose. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.